I understand why farmers don't want to talk um, because the company can do what it wants to do as far as pay goes since they control everything. Um, but it's just gotten to the point that it's not right what's going on and I've just made up my mind I'm going to say what I have to say. Um, I understand why others don't want to do it. Uh, and I'm just to the point that it doesn't matter anymore. Something has to be said. It is nasty in here. Uh, there's dust flying everywhere. There's feces everywhere. This isn't farming. This is just mass production, like an assembly line in a factory. When they grow from a chick, and in seven weeks you've got a five and a half pound chicken, their bones and their internal organs can't keep up with the rapid growth. A lot of these chickens here, they can take a few steps and then they plop down. It's because they can't keep up with all the weight that they're carrying. That's normal. There's antibiotics that's put into the feed, and of course that passes through the chicken. The bacteria builds up a resistance, so antibiotics aren't working anymore. I have become allergic to all antibiotics and can't take them. When it's dark inside the houses, the chickens lay down. It's less resistance when they're being caught. Traditionally, it's been African-American men. Now, we're seeing more and more Latino catchers, undocumented workers, and from their point of view, they don't have any rights, and they're just not gonna complain. You know, the companies like these kind of workers. It doesn't matter if the chickens get sick, all of the chickens still go to the plant for processing. <laughs> 